If you have seen my videos before, you might know how fascinated I am by the incredible transformation that China has gone through the last few decades. I have no work. Oh my god, speechless, awesome. I've been in China long enough to witness it somehow on my own. I've had the chance to travel and visit places where this transformation is very evident. Recently, I went to two of the busiest container ports in China, one in Guangzhou and one in Shenzhen. So stay tuned to get some of the most incredible insights about one of the reasons why China is what it is today. China started using scheduled shipping routes with Japan and Korea a long time ago, during the Han Dynasty, around 250 to 220 of the BC era. They were also the first people to actually build a canal. Nowadays, China is building ports following a plan to create major groups of ports, with a main hub port at the center. Shanghai and Shenzhen are great examples of this. We are now visiting another super interesting point here in Nansha, in Guangzhou. Nansha is one of the districts that is part of Guangzhou. So right now we're coming to a port. Actually, it's a very, very massive space. As you can see behind me, there are like thousands and thousands of containers. And this is one of the most important ports here in Southern China, where thousands of different kind of products pass through to go to their final destination. Ports are like engines for the areas where they are. They bring together services and factories, which create money and improve people's lives in those regions. Years of economic development have allowed China to come up as one of the pioneers in the international container shipping industry. A well-connected network of ports has brought several economic advantages for China. It has also given Beijing greater control over the global maritime trade in general. The authorities in China are presently boosting the connectivity in the country with a special focus on improving the port infrastructure. As you might know, China is a global center for manufacturing different kinds of products, electronics, clothes, shoes, all kinds of products are made here in China and they of course need to pass through these kind of facilities. What is super interesting though, it's to know how they're using nowadays technology to make all these processes like faster and more efficient. They're using uh, robotics, artificial intelligence, big data to make these kind of facilities more automated, to depend less on people and on human interaction. Of course, at the end, it will be translated into more efficient and safer processes. In 2022, China was the number two economy in the world in terms of GDP, the number one in total exports, and the number two in total imports. China shipped more than 3,000 trillion worth of exported products around the globe in 2023. Mainland China's biggest export products by value in 2023 were led by phone devices, including smartphones, computers, electronic integrated circuits, cars, and electric storage devices. China generated 13.8% of all globally exported goods in 2022. You can see behind me, it's just amazing. Like the, the space that this area covers is just impressive. Uh, from all the way to the end, I don't know if you can see through the camera, it's just all the way to the end. To the other side, it's absolutely impressive to see all this uh, space. And it's thousands and thousands of containers to see that. It's actually my first time coming to one of these places and I'm super impressed to see the amount of spaces. I usually can see that in, because I live in Shenzhen, right? You get to see these ports, but never from this space. And learning also what is behind the transportation or the sending of many goods to the rest of the world is absolutely amazing. And that is happening here in China. To give you some context of the importance of China in the global stage, seven out of the 10 busiest ports in the world are in China, with Shanghai on the top of the list, followed by Singapore port and the port of Ningbo in China also. 
Other notable ports include the Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and the Busan port in South Korea. China maintains a strong presence with additional ports such as the port of Qingdao and Tianjin. Additionally, Hong Kong remains as a significant player in the global trade. And we keep exploring the beautiful city of Shenzhen, exploring the amazing technology advancements and the capacities that this city has for uh, cargo facilities, imports and exports. And we're today exploring one of the largest and biggest ports in the city. I'm talking about Yantian Port. Uh, this is managed by a Hong Kong company. Actually, it's more like a global company, Hutchinson. This is a company that has presence in uh, 24 countries, managing more than 53 ports all around the world. One of the main reasons for the quick rise of the Chinese economy is a constant increase in exports in the last few decades. Container ships move more than 80% of the international shipments. This is why China has come up with a plan for export-oriented economic growth. In other words, the Chinese government is investing in boosting the port infrastructure of the country that is responsible for the bulk of the Chinese international trade. China's great performance in the shipping connectivity is largely because of its ability to handle high container throughput. Additionally, many of the ports in China rank among the most connected ports on the planet. As one of the leading maritime powers in the world, China has access to more than 14,000 kilometers of coastline. Although nations like Russia and Canada have also access to long stretches of shoreline, China has one significant advantage over them vessels can access the Chinese coast all around the year. So I'm just impressed again every time I visit these kind of places in Shenzhen, as you can see, the magnitude of this place, how huge it is. This is the biggest single port in China managed by only one company even larger than those ones you can find in cities like Shanghai and Ningbo, which are large port cities here in China. Several of the most populated economic centers of China are located on its eastern coast. This makes it all the more logical for the authorities to invest in the development of the ports. The Chinese government seeks to develop ports so as to enable them to fit China's ever-increasing demand for raw materials and help the export-oriented financial development. As a reference, 51.4% of products exported from mainland China were bought by importers in the United States of America with 13.8% of China's global total. Japan with a 4.7%, South Korea 4.4%, Vietnam 4.1% and India 3.5%. Shenzhen has learned how to become one of the leaders when it comes to uh, cargo infrastructure. It is massive, it is huge and especially because of the location of Shenzhen. As you might know, this is a technology hub uh, city. Actually, whole Guangdong province is well known for manufacturing a lot of different like home appliances, uh, phones, computer. Actually, your iPhone is made here in this city. Companies like Apple, Samsung, LG, Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, they all use all these cargo services from this port to ship their products to all around the world. Impressive, right? China has some of the biggest seaports globally. But how much do these ports help the nearby regions grow economically? The answer is a lot and Chinese authorities know it. The important position of Chinese ports indicate that China has made substantial capital investment in its port facilities in recent years. Investing in ports help the local economy grow in different ways. These include direct impacts, like jobs created at the port, as well as indirect effects, like businesses supplying goods to the port. There are also induced effects, where people spend their wages in the local area, 
boosting other businesses. This uh, container terminal was developed in uh, four different phases. On that side, we have the first phase, very far away from here. Then we have here the second and the third phase in front of us. And then the fourth phase, or the new area, is being built all the way here. This area is being claimed to the sea. It's all man-made area and it will be part of this huge, this already huge port in probably a couple more years will be completed. Chinese ports play a key role in the world port system. China is present with three ports among the five largest ones in the world, with Shanghai in first place. This country is home to 34 major ports and 2,000 minor ports. A large number of these ports play a vital role in the global movement of goods. Moreover, the 158 ports on the eastern and southern shorelines of China play a crucial role in international commercial activities. So here are some of the most important ports in China. Number 1. Port of Shanghai This port, which is over 170 years old, is not only the largest Chinese port, but also the largest one in the world. In 2010, Shanghai port emerged as the busiest international port. This deep sea port is considered as one of the four large port megacities on the planet. The Yangshan port, which is part of the network of Shanghai port, is one of the busiest hubs of the Chinese container shipping industry. There are several smaller ports close to Shanghai that allow for better handling of container traffic. Number 2. Port of Shenzhen The second largest port of China, the Port of Shenzhen, is also the third largest port globally in terms of the number of cargoes handled. This feeder port has been serving more than 50 shipping lines and around 10,000 container ships per year. This port houses the headquarters of almost 40 shipping companies. Most importantly, these companies have launched around 130 international container lines. This port comes with more than 100 warehouse operators and over 2,000 logistic firms located on the premises. With a coastline of over 250 kilometers, this port is part of the Hong Kong-Shenzhen Western Corridor. This makes it one of the most well-connected docks in the country. This is basically how it would look one of the control centers for this massive terminal. You have all the controllers, looks like a joystick, and all the technology equipments to manage all the containers that every day are carried on the vessels to be shipped all around the world. That's amazing. And here in this area, you can see the cameras that are monitoring in real time, the uh, operations of this terminal. You can see this one is moving because it's probably on a crane and it's probably windy right now. Of course, we are on a coast area, on a coastal area, and uh, it's going to move. Number three, Ningbo Chosan Port. The Ningbo Chosan Port that moves over 1 billion tons of cargo per year is hands down the busiest port of the planet for shipments. Located across Shanghai, on the Hangzhou Bay, the Ningbo Chosan port is well connected to the rest of China. This port is linked to 560 ports across 90 countries. It comes with a terminal dedicated to the processing of crude oil, which can handle tankers over 250,000 tons. Additionally, it has a separate terminal for liquid chemicals. Its store capacity of 4.1 million tons and its proximity to the Zhejiang Free Trade Zones make it one of the most important ports in Asia. Other than these huge cargo facilities, this is also a touristic point for the city. So in this part of Shenzhen, we see a lot of huge uh, resort developments currently under construction. Some of them are already finished, like we have the Intercontinental Damisha Hotel, we also have the Marriott Golden Bay. In the future, there will be more and more touristic developments, such as the W Hotel is being built, also the new Legoland is going to be the biggest Legoland in the world. It's right now under construction in Shenzhen and will be open probably next year. Can't wait for that. 
Number 4. Port of Guangzhou. This port that dates back to 2021 of the busy era used to be the fifth largest container port in the world before the pandemic. Located on the Pearl River Delta, this port is connected to 300 ports in 80 countries. The Guangzhou port comes with 2,400 anchorage points and more than 4,500 berths. Moreover, it has huge warehousing spaces, logistic facilities, and customs checkpoints. This port is mostly responsible for removing agricultural and edible items, fertilizers, car parts, steel, and machineries. The authorities are presently working on expanding the capacity of this port. In a few years, the Guangzhou port will be able to handle ships over 100,000 deadweight tons. Port of Qingdao One of the most important ports in eastern China, the port of Qingdao is the eighth busiest port globally in terms of traffic. This port mainly handles cargo ships to and from Russia, Japan, South Korea and the USA. The Qingdao port is connected with more than 450 ports in 130 countries. Two of the areas in Qingdao port are mainly used for handling containers, while the other two port areas are used for handling oil tankers and iron. Moreover, this port is connected with the port of Weihai, Rijiao, Yantai, and Busan port to create a huge Asian logistic hub. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.